Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another edition of our Youth Sunday Talks. Today I'll be picking up where we left off in Matthew, chapter 6, verses 1 to 4, the verses I'll be going over. And this is still the Sermon on the Mount. So if you remember, Jesus goes up to a mountainside, sits down, the disciples gather around him and he begins to preach. So we know that this is a message for disciples, for all who choose to follow Christ. So he says, be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. So you might already be thinking, well, what does it mean to practice righteousness? Well, in these first four verses, Jesus talks about giving to the poor. And then he talks about prayer and then also about fasting later on. So in all three of these matters, Jesus is concerned that we be careful and practice them in a certain way so that we're not glorifying ourselves, but instead are pointing towards God and glorifying him. It says, if you do, that is, if you practice your righteousness in front of others, you will have no reward from your father in heaven. So these verses are concerned about rewards, about motives. That's a question for you today is, what are you more concerned with? Are you concerned with people praising you or God praising you? You know, what, Whose opinion is more is most important to you? So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets so as to be seen by others. And this actually used to happen. They had trumpets announcing the giving, a kind of, look at me, oh, look at all this money I'm giving. Aren't I great? And that would draw attention to the giving and other people would praise them for it. And Jesus goes on to say, he says, truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. Because that's it. That's all they're going to get is just the praise of other people. That is their reward. Jesus rightfully calls these people hypocrites because they don't seem to care about blessing the individual by giving the money. They don't care about God's opinion of the matter and how they should conduct themselves. All they care about is being praised by other people. And where it says reward in full, the translation of the Greek is paid in full. Right? Jesus doesn't owe you a debt. If you conduct yourself in this manner, there's nothing left for you. You've already received a reward. You can walk into heaven at the end of your life and say, oh, oh God, by the way, you remember all that money I gave on earth and how great that was? Could I uh, receive my reward for that now, please? You, you can't do that because God will just turn around and say, well, I'm sorry, but you've already had your reward. Don't you remember? All those people were praising you on earth. Don't, don't you remember that happening? That, that was your reward. I, I've got nothing else to give you, which is quite a sorry state of affairs, frankly. <laughs> because man's praise lasts just a day, but instead, as Christians, we're called to fix our eyes upon eternity. And how much greater would it be to be rewarded and praised by God as opposed to people? He says, but when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So your giving may be secret. And this is great. This is hyperbole. That is, Jesus is purposefully exaggerating to make a point. He's calling us to a higher standard saying, you know, this is how secretive you should be. So much so that there's just absolutely no possibility of somebody else praising you. It's only going to be God who knows that you've done it. And he's going to be the only one praising you for it. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And that's the promise made here. When we're being careful about how we practice our righteousness, that's God's promise to us that he will reward us. And you might be thinking, well, that's all, that's all well and good, Ben. But didn't I just read in chapter five that we should let our light shine before others so that they may see our good deeds, that it may glorify our father in heaven? And I'd say to you, absolutely. Yes. If, I'll give you an example. If you're walking down the street with your friend and you see a homeless person, what are you going to do? Are you going to give money to that homeless person or not? Are you going to be scared? Are you going to say, oh, I can't give money to that homeless person because then my friend will see that I'm giving the money and then it won't be a secret. And I thought God just told me to give secretly. Yes, but He's talking about the motive in the matter. You can absolutely do it in front of your friends and give to that homeless person. That's absolutely fine. It's all about your motive. 
Are you doing it because you want to bless that homeless person? Are you doing it because you want to glorify God? Or are you doing it only because you want your friend to see you so that they can praise you and tell you how great you are for giving that money away? It's all about the motive. And so lastly, I'd just like to leave you with this quote from Spurgeon. I think it's absolutely great. He says, keep the things so secret that even you yourself are hardly aware you are doing anything at all praiseworthy. Let God be present and you will have enough of an audience. Okay, I hope that blesses you guys, gives you something to think about. Maybe it was a bit challenging. Encourage you to pray about it and um, continue to think how you can give um, to the poor and what are your motives in the matter. Overall, love God, love other people, and keep your eyes focused on eternity. Stay blessed, guys. Until next time.